Hi, I'm Thomas, and this is MUI. It's a graphical user interface to help you design schematic transit map. So in the style of the London tube map, basically, where connections go in one of eight directions. And so what we let you do here is for every connection in the metro network, we let you say, okay, it connects to the station from the northeast, for example, and then automatically it also puts it in the southwest over there. So let's decide where everybody goes. And this is going to be a lot of work. Let's get some help from an algorithm uh, that's based on where these stations are, tries to assign, okay, this is probably a good direction to go. So we don't all have to do that by hand. Now we have this for the entire network and we can click on layout. And now what it does is it automatically finds a realization where to put these stations so that these directions work out. So the algorithm didn't quite know what to do over here. It's like, okay, I would like to get in from the east over here, and I'd like to get in from the southwest over here. But the layout algorithm can do this fine. It'll just do it with a bend here. This can actually be quite nice in the process of designing a map. It might look good to have a bend here. But for now, let's say, okay, I actually want this to be horizontal. That seems like a reasonable idea, actually. Then we can just, in this drawing, change and say, okay, this one should come in from the west. For now, while we're still editing, it'll draw it with a curve like this, but then we can ask again, okay, let's update the layout, and then now it makes everything straight again. Uh, as you saw, this is actually really quite quick, so let's turn it on so that it automatically updates. And then what I can do, for example, here is I could say, okay, maybe this should just go straight up, and then this looks pretty nice. Maybe this should be horizontal, and then everything else, shifts to make up for the kinds of decisions that I'm making. So maybe this should go up because the entire thing, maybe I want it to go up. So to save me some clicks, what I can do is I can say, I want to straighten this to go up. Okay, let's update that. And you, you do this a lot. Uh, I do this a lot anyway when I design maps. So we even made it that you can double click on the port and then it will just from there straighten everything out. Uh, maybe this can be like this. I think this is a single metro line going straight through, so let's actually make this go straight like that. Um, this is a bit of a mess. Let's say this one goes, let's say this one goes down. And let's say this one also goes straight like that. And this goes straight like that. Okay, now this could already be, no, actually let's, let's fix this over here. Let's, let's say this goes diagonal. Actually, why isn't this entire thing diagonal? Let's just go there. This may be a little bit stark, but let's go with it. If we have this design, and I could have done this earlier, but I just wanted to play around it for a bit, we can render using the open source loom tool, and then what we're going to get is a proper layout with labels and all of the colors. And yeah, so that this was a, a straight line going through there. Now, I mentioned before, the connection doesn't have to have the same direction at the start and at the finish. So for example, over here, I don't quite like that this has this bend over here. So what we could say is green has to go down from the station and then it still comes in from the, the northwest. So for that, what I, I'm allowed to do is hold shift and say, don't actually change the other one too, but have a bend like that. And then Let's actually turn on auto render so I don't have to click render all the time. And then what we're going to get is a very nice thing like this. So then too, I might say, okay, this should maybe go nice and smooth. So in order to do that, uh, I could say this goes over there and this goes over there. Maybe actually we'll make it even straighter like that. And then we can get our own shape back. And then we have this nice thing like that. Maybe this should also bend. Let's try it. That has to make it higher. So let's see if we actually like that. Now you can also see that we bend the line under stations. That's something that uh, professional designers tend to avoid. So let's actually do that with this port assignment that says actually the bend should be there. Okay, that's nicer, I think. And I think it's probably going to be nice if this orange line just goes horizontal over there. So let's just do that in one 
swoop and then this automatically gets adjusted. Um, let's also make this not be a sharp bend by saying probably that this goes over there. Maybe it's nice if brown just goes straight northeast. Maybe it doesn't work out. Let's let's see. Let's just try because it's so easy to just try these things. I like it. Okay, so it's it's certainly possible to make nicer metro maps than this. We can keep iterating on this, but uh, I think this went uh, pretty well for the time that it took. Uh, oh no, I want to fix this. This is uh, this should probably have a bend somewhere. Um, let's do it like, oh, well, let's try how it should go. Should it go like this? It gets even higher. Or should it go like this and it gets wider? I think I prefer this. Uh, let's leave it at this. I've been Thomas and this is Mui.